Hello everyone. As we know, we are moving with the module number 3 that is technical communication. In the previous video, we have covered the main two topics that is the public speaking and the group discussions. Also, in the last video, we have started the third topic that is presentation strategies. In that, we have covered the purposes of the presentation strategies. There are various purposes according to your convenience, according to your speech, according to your concept, what you have to deliver. That means there are various purposes of the presentation. Also, we have covered when you have to make your presentation effective. You have to divide it into three phases. That is planning, preparing and presenting. This three phases you have to divide your presentation to make it effective. This we have covered from this. The first topic that is planning is covered in the last video. What is planning? It is very important phase which again divided into three types that is defining purpose, analyzing audience and analyzing venue. That means where you have to speak. This three we have covered. Yes, tell this we have covered in the previous video. Today we are going to start with the subtopic of the third topic, the preparing part. That means the preparation for the presentation. Once you plan what you have to speak, once you have analyzed the audience, once you have analyzed the venue, now it's a time for the preparation. That means this mainly consists of the content preparation, the content. This we also have discussed in the public speaking part. The content that means what you have to speak. Now you have to decide that. Based on your purpose and the audience. Now you know what should be included in your presentation. Once you have decided what is your audience. How is your audience? How is your venue? Now you have to decide what you have to speak. You may gather the information from the books, various journals your knowledge and the experience about the topic. Also, you can have the knowledge from the experts in that field from where you have to give the presentation. So also you have knowledge from that. While gathering, it is important that you remove the data which is not relevant to your purpose. How this preparation parts help you? That means now you know the audience, now you know the venue, now you have to gather the data and remove that data which is not relevant to your purposes or which is not relevant to your audiences otherwise you will end up taking a huge data and the end, the time factor must be kept in mind while choosing the content the time factor in any preparation you have to you have given a time that you have to give or you have to inform the audience you have to give your presentation within this half an hour so you have to also keep in mind the time factor. Once you have decided what all need to be said in the presentation, you must arrange it in order to bring coherence in the presentation. The content can broadly divided into three portions. You have to decide what to speak. That means your content which is divided into three portions. First is introduction. Second is the main body. And third is the conclusion. An introduction must be such that the audience becomes curious to listen further. You have to divide your content according to three parts. Now your introduction part that means the presentation where you, you start. It there the audience become curious to listen further. They get engaged. They encourage, encourage to listen the other presentation other your speech you can use a catchy statement you can also use a quote or a story which can be relevant to the topic so in the introduction part you can add this much either a catchy sentence a quote or a story the introduction consists of the in introduction of yourself as well as the topic in the introduction part you must clarify your purpose and give a brief idea about about what you are going to speak that means the agenda of your presentation what you have to speak what is the purpose of this presentation that you have to clear to the audience this is all about the introduction where you have to get the concentration of the or you have to engage the audience second part that means the main body the main body is the entire content 
it can be organized using different ways as explained as explained previously in the also in the public speaking part so it is the main content that you have to place in the main body deciding the pattern for your speech while preparing for the content you have to decide in which pattern you will deliver the speech first i will say this then i will give the example then i will give the analysis part so you have to divide your speech in the main body while preparing the content of the presentation you have to remember the 5c 5c that means the clarity in your main body there must be clarity consciousness completeness continuity and consistency this 5c you have to keep in mind while arranging the content in the main body your speech must be clear that means to the point according to your presentation according to your purpose consciousness completeness it must be complete from the beginning to the end continuity there must be a continuity in each and every point you have to first give the introduction then give the example then give the analysis part there must be a continuity in the flow and last is the consistency so this 5c you have to keep in mind in the main body and the last part is the conclusion the last part of the presentation the conclusion is very important because it is a time when the speaker leaves an impact in the mind of the audience now it is the last minutes of the speaker to say or speaker to present so it will leaves a impact in the mind of the audience many people complete the conclusion in a hurry now the speaker have to hurry to leave the place or to end up the presentation but it is advisable to give the considerable time to the conclusion summarize the whole presentation and remind the audience on of your purpose by again mentioning the same story or the quote you have said in the introduction so you in the conclusion part you have to again say that story which you have included in the introduction part that means we have started with this and we are ending up our presentation with this so there must be a continuity of the flow during your presentation time this help the audience to retain the information and has a lasting effect in their mind so this is all about the preparing part in the presentation strategies where you have to divide your presentation into three part that means the introduction main body and the conclusion you to you don't have to hurry in your conclusion because here you have to or the speaker have to leave an impact in the mind of the audience and the third that yes this five types as we have discussed the clarity consciousness completeness continuity and consistency this five c you have to remember and the last part of the presentation strategies is presenting this includes the effective use of the visual aid delivery of the speech and the non verbal communication effective use of the visual aid means in this presenting part you have to use the visual aids then you have to deliver a speech and you have to take care also of the non verbal communication effective use of visual aid the presentation differs from the speech because in it you also show or display what you speak in the visual aid you have to show that means the ppt part here i am showing the content that means the presentation powerpoint presentation so how the visual aid differ from the speech in the visual aid you have to also show and display what you are speaking showing along with the speaking creates a more impact in the mind of the audience anything which we use we tend to grasp and remember easier there are various ways of showing your content to the audience like writing on the board showing charts and through the powerpoint presentation as i am doing to make the effective use of all this you must take a, take care of the many various points for example check for all your requirements whether the projector is available or not how you check this we have seen in the first part that means analyze your venue that means see your place where you are going to present whether the projector is available or not 
laptop or the computer is available or you have to carry your own device availability of the internet connection etc so you have to check to have the effective visual aid if you have to use board check for the chalk or the marker pens also check whether the marker pens are in working conditions or because if they are not you will waste your time right in the beginning and they will create more nervousness also keep the visual aid visible to the audience by taking care that you or any pillars and anything is not blocking it i have given this example before also that any pillar in your venue place any pillar or anything is not a blocking it you are blocking your presentation also keep in mind that your handwriting must be legally and big enough to make it visible till the end so this is all about the visual aid this you have to keep in mind by the presenting part also the non verbal communication you have to take care of your gestures you have to take care of your postures all of this you have to take care of your eye contact to each and every members along with the presentation along with the speech so this is all about the presentation here the main three part you have to divide it your presentation that means the planning preparing and the presenting next topic of module number 3 will be further discussed in the upcoming videos thank you